This is a CNN News 18 exclusive. Saudi Arabia has issued a final warning to Pakistan. Pakistan Airlines have received a final warning from the Riyadh Airport Authority. Uh, now we've been able to exclusively access emails and documents. The PIA has received a final warning from the Riyadh Airport Authority, otherwise known as the RAA, regarding the non-payment of dues. Now the RAA has also set a deadline for July 15th tomorrow for the PIA to pay the outstanding amount of 8.2 million rials. Now, failure to meet the deadline could potentially affect the airline's winter flight schedule. Additionally, the PIA has been cautioned by the Jeddah airport for the non-payment of liabilities. Now, a spokesperson for the Pakistan airport has confirmed the issuance of the reminder and stated that the airline is actively working towards making the payment and resolving the issue promptly. But whether or not this issue will be resolved promptly or not is, r remains to be seen. We're crossing over to CNN News 18's Anand Narasimhan for more details on this. Anand, over to you. Well, morning to all our viewers, and this is a massive, uh, massive embarrassment for the Pakistani authorities if the PIA uh, will not be able to operate its flights, especially uh, with its uh, Hajj pilgrims. Uh, and uh, non-payment of dues becoming a bone point or a key issue with the Saudis, who have very clearly said that pay up, otherwise we are going to ground your crafts and we are not going to allow them... Uh, uh, into into Saudi Arabian airspace or land in Saudi Arabia. Now, uh, this is something which is going to further compound the issues uh, with uh, Pakistanis and internally for them. It's huge embarrassment. The Saudis themselves have uh, parked a lot of money to keep their uh, keep the Pakistan foreign reserves uh, still uh, flush. Up, you know, throw some numbers in their uh, absolutely uh, bare foreign reserves, but uh, the Pakistanis cannot even touch that money. Now, uh, this warning has very, very uh, clearly been conveyed to Shabazz Sharif in no little terms, that you have to pay 48 million in outstanding dues to avoid suspension of air travel. Now, uh, in fact, what, will, what is also going to happen is, and it's going to be embarrassing, is that nearly 50,000 Hajj pilgrims are already in Saudi Arabia. So after they finish their Hajj and when they come back and then they want to go back to Pakistan, they'll have to go back with that particular airline where they, of uh, which they have come back. They're saying that that will not commence till the payments are made. So you have not only the issue of uh, not paying your dues and your flights being grounded, but your pilgrims will not be able to find their way back. Now, this is something which is, uh, uh, this is a huge issue because uh, the, the, there is a possibility that the PIA may just even shut down because we are given to understand that the ECC has failed to release 22 billion Pakistani rupee pending claims on account of, uh, on account markup to June 2023. And uh, they have only been able to release 4 billion Pakistani rupees. So where is 4 billion and where is 22 billion? And uh, the lesser of the Pakistan International Airline uh, impounded the B777 aircraft last month at Kuala Lumpur also the, uh, because uh, that was done by Air, Air Cap. Because, and it was released after the Park government made the overdue payment and pleaded PIA receipts through the International Air Transport Association or IATA Clearing House. Now, uh, you know, Shabash Sharif on the 28th of June had said that a high-level committee chaired by the finance minister will work out the restructuring, reformation and revival of the PIA. But uh, this state currently, at this state, uh, this is what uh, many people had said that could lead to huge uh, problems for Shabash Sharif. One of the reasons why Shabash Sharif is desperate that trade resumes with India is that the cash flows will start and uh, somewhere some normalization of equations with, uh, with India will help uh, the economic upliftment of Pakistan. That, something, uh, that is something which is really pinching the Pakistanis and the Pakistan polity is realizing that they cannot antagonize India and economically they are overtly dependent upon normalization of ties. Now, in the meantime, the PIA is also facing a lawsuit uh, in the United States from wills leasing over non-payment. And, uh, and in fact, what they are actually doing is they are removing and returning two A320 aircraft engines that have been leased from uh, this wills leasing. So that they, because they can't afford to even legal fees or fight, uh, you know, legal battles anywhere on foreign soil. The Pakistan insur PIA insurance broker Aliana has also issued a termination notice demanding overdue on payments and announced that if insurance, uh, if the insurance stops, so will the flight operations. So 
this is uh, like compounding of problems and it's just hammering the PIA down, down not only on to its knees, the Pakistan government literally being brought down to its knees because this is a huge, huge mess. Because if they pay one, then the other says pay me, or otherwise I block services. They pay that person, a third pay person says, well, point is they have no money. Mm-hmm. And the only way they can do this is if they cut short the defense budgets. And the Pak military establishment has put its foot down saying that no way are you reducing our budgets. That's exactly it, Anand, because one of the spokespeople for the airport has said that that the airline is actively working towards making the payment and resolving the issue on a prompt basis. But where exactly is that money going to come from? Because uh, when it comes to a temporary loan from the IMF, that might be there, but that might not be on the list of priorities for the Pakistan government, considering there are so many people who are at this moment starving. The the money that is coming from the IMF is not to pay its dues for the PIA. It is for it to be able to run the country and to ensure that uh, the people can uh, have uh, bread to eat. Exactly. And, uh, so on their plate and uh, some basic resources even to buy fuel. The, and and uh, they are going to get into a fresh cycle of debt. And so this is going to only pile on. So it's like a bottomless bucket of uh, debt. It's an abyss and nobody wants to now put their money into this country because they know they're never going to get it back. So even the Chinese have now pulled their hands back and said, we are going to only protect our investments so much so that they want to put their own PLA boots on ground to protect their investments because they know that the Pakistani army has not been capable nor have the mercenaries because they don't have the money to pay them. The other aspect when we come to the PIA, their membership with the IATA is also now in peril because they delayed their payment of dues of more than 2.8 million US dollars by two days. It was due on the 21st of June. They paid it up only on the 23rd of June. So they are, uh, they are, they are really, really, uh, really, really uh, under the pump here. And so much so that on the one hand, you don't have any money or nearly bankrupt. The PI is going to go down to its ground on its knees and it can go bust anytime. It can be shut anytime. On the other hand, the government has actually tasked the PIA to increase its fleet to 27 to 49 aircraft. So you have no money. You are in uh, uh, absolute uh, deep mess financially, but you are being asked by the government to increase your fleet, uh, and that too from 27 to 49. So clearly something is totally wrong there, and uh, it's like deja vu. There was a time when the Air India was going through such mess uh, close the home. But this is a far, far bigger mess and a huge embarrassment. Right now, it's more than 50,000 pilgrims who are there mm-hmm. in Saudi Arabia who may just not be able to come back home till the time uh, Pakistan clears okay. the $48 million dues with Saudi Arabia. Absolutely. Anand, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us those details about this. We'll have to wait to see how this develops because the deadline for this is tomorrow. Now, with this, we're going to be heading into a very short break, but do stay tuned for more on the other side.